Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic that we are going to see is an SNMP that is Simple Network Management Protocol. As the name indicate, it is used for managing the network. So we can easily say that it is a framework for managing the devices on the internet. It is used for not only managing but it is also used for monitoring the network devices on the LAN and WAN. It provides the basic set of fundamental operations so that it can easily manage the network or monitors the network. So it provides the set of operations for it managing and for monitoring the network devices. And it uses the concept of manager and an agent. Uh, there is one manager that we call it as an SNMP manager and another is an SNMP agent. So what is this SNMP uh, manager? It actually controls the agent whereas SNMP agent you can say that it is a collection of different component. What are these different components? It can be router, server or the multi-layer switch. The different components you can say that it is used for managing the network. So SNMP agent is a collection of different components and SNMP manager it controls this agent. Now uh, one more thing you have to remember is it is a host that actually going to run the SNMP client program whereas it is a uh, server which actually you can say that there can be routers, uh, switches or the server that are going to run SNMP server program. So the client sends the request, you can say that SNMP manager sends the request to check the SNMP agent, is there any fault in the network or is there any kind of congestion for example. So it manages with the help of the manager and the agent. So it manages the network very easily with these two components. Now one more important thing that I am going to show as now we know what are the different components of SNMP let's go through once again SNMP manager, SNMP agent and one more important component is an MIB. Uh, now let's see one by one what is that. We know what is SNMP manager. It is a centralized system used for monitoring the network with the help of SNMP agent. Uh, sometimes it is actually also called as NMS that is a network management protocol network management system. Now what is an SNMP agent? SNMP agent it is you can easily say that it is a software management software module that is actually installed on managed devices. This software is installed on that different devices. Now, let's. Uh, what are these managed devices? These managed devices can be your PC, it can be your routers, it can be the switches, it can be the servers. So these are the different managed devices, and this software module is installed on these devices so that it can uh, track it very easily. Now, the third component that you don't know is an MIB that is the management information base. Now why we require this? We require this to track about the resources. So it contains all the information that are required or used by these resources that are used for managing it and it always uses hierarchical structure. In this way it manages the information. You can say this is MIB and it uses or it organizes the information in the form of hierarchy. Now these are the three main components that you should remember in an SNMP. Now uh, there are some more important information that you should know about SNMP is that SNMP is it uses TCP IP protocol suit and it is always going to work on the application level protocol. Now you remember uh, it actually it is designed on uh, designed at an application level so that we can easily monitor the different devices that are actually installed on the different physical network that's why it is installed on the application level. Now uh, this interaction is always going to be happen manage uh, or you can say this management is achieved through the simple interaction between the manager and an agent. 
agent always keep uh, uh, like you can say um, keeps the performance information in here particular database for example uh, um, router can store how many number of packets are being sent or how many number of packets is being forwarded or received so that manager can fetch this information and compare these values whether uh, there is any kind of congestion in the router or not congestion means any kind of traffic or not so this in this way it is necessary to keep the information in the database now management of this snmp is based on three basic idea a manage first one is manager checks an agent by requesting the information that actually going to reflect the behavior of an agent next one is the next one is the um, manager actually forces the agent to perform a particular task by resetting the value in an particular uh, database so that it can check it out continuously next one is the it uh, an agent contributes to the management process by warning it gives the warning to the manager if there is any unusual situation in the network so that is there if there is any kind of congestion or if there is any kind of traffic the packets cannot move if any kind of unusual situation is there it informs the manager that it there is an unusual behavior in the network so in this way uh, you can say that uh, the snmp is basically used for managing the internet or managing the network so that we can uh, have the smooth traffic or the flow of the packet so the data can be moved easily and the network is smooth uh, it is used for managing and also used for monitoring the network with the help of manager and a agent i hope you like this video if you like this video please do like and share subscribe